Meet our Insta friend, Buttercup. Buttercup is a dwarf miniature horse living the luxurious life with her friends at the stable. She's just 23 inches tall, loves pink elephant cupcakes, the color pink, and hanging out with her bestie, Elza, the Doberman Pincher. You can follow Buttercup on Instagram at BNB Dwarf Mini. Or you can follow Buttercup right now, right here. Look who's come to visit us in studio, in person. I am so excited. I had to get right down here, Jason. This is our first time meeting an Insta friend in real life. And would you like a bit oh. of the cupcake? Now, look at that. You yeah. you get the feeder of the cupcake, I and I just have do. to stand here. <laughs> she loves it, too. Buttercup has a loving family that takes care of her every need. But there are some miniature horses looking for their forever homes. We went to Saving Grace Miniature Horse Rescue, the only miniature horse rescue in Michigan, to meet some adoptable miniature horses. This is Mr. Hilton. Tammy Miller always loved horses, but a car accident years ago left her unable to ride. So her passion turned to miniature horses as an owner, then a foster, and since 2014, running her own rescue. Each and every one has their own personalities. I could just spend all day with every, every one of them. <laughs> a miniature horse is a size registry. It's not a breed registry. So anything 38 inches and under is considered a miniature horse. Dwarf miniature horses are even smaller, the result of a genetic condition that can cause many physical difficulties and health problems. Miniature horses have the same number of teeth as a full-size horse, so then when you get a dwarf horse who's this big, it becomes a big problem. And until all their teeth come into their mouth, which can take up to six years in a dwarf mini, they need constant dental. And it has to be done by an equine dentist or a vet who is used to working on dwarf miniature horses or miniature horses. And though minis can be the size of big dogs, they are horses. The only difference between care of a miniature horse and a full-size horse is they eat less. Everything else, the vet care and everything else is exactly the same. The rescue runs on donations and with the help of volunteers like Gretchen Glashes. Bam Bam, he thinks he's a Clydesdale. He doesn't have any clue that he's just a little boy. And they just, they're just wonderful. That's why I love them so much. Gretchen was mourning the loss of her own horse when she read about saving grace in the local newspaper and contacted Tammy. I came out one day, it was a Monday, and I, re I remember when I was leaving, I was like, well, I don't think I can wait until next Monday. Can I come back Thursday? And she was like, well, yeah. And then I've been here ever since. Tammy owns 12 miniature horses and has 16 rescues right now, mostly owner surrenders or horses purchased at auction. For some abused or neglected horses, Saving Grace Miniature Horse Rescue is their last chance. Like Sunny, who was emaciated, had a deformed hoof, and was going to be shot until Tammy took him in. He was light enough that my husband walked up onto the trailer and carried him off the trailer. And he wasn't, he wasn't a small mini. He probably weighed less than 100 pounds when he came here. Tammy took Sonny to see her veterinarian. His hoof deformity, his hoof had curled up and around and like up into his leg. And she's like, oh, there's no way we can, we can trim that off. Well, I'm not somebody who gives up that easy. So I didn't let her euthanize him. I took him home. Well, for one, he, the, the, the night I met him, I could tell he wanted to live. You can tell when they want to live and when they don't. He hadn't given up, so he hadn't given up on himself and I wasn't going to either. A veterinarian at Michigan State University was able to help Sonny and he joined the herd of so many miniature horses who over the years found their saving grace at Tammy's farm. 10 of the 16 current rescues are now sanctuary horses, meaning they'll live out their days on the farm. But six of the miniature horses are adoptable. And we have more information on the All for Pets page of clickondetroit.com. Meanwhile, who wouldn't want a friend like uh, Buttercup? I mean, am I right? Uh, if I could take Buttercup home, I would. I don't think your dog would. <laughs> we'll be right back. Step aside, Sora. We are looking for the next All for Pets promo star. We'll tell you how to enter.